Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to episode 6 of 100cc. That's where we have 100 car chats. Today, we're going to be talking about the Subaru WRX and BRZs. Um, we are still within the affordable performance car range, which means we're talking about cars that go fast for under $100,000. So, without further ado, let's hit the B-roll. What's up, guys? Uh, like I said, we're on episode six today. We're once uh, we're talking about the Subaru um, BRZs and WRXs. Uh, we're still within the Japanese market for this, um, and because of that, he'll be talking more again today. And he's got all the information pulled up. So let's go. All right, guys. What's up? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the BRZ first because it's actually really simple. It has two models. It has a premium model and a limited model. So let's start with the premium. The premium starts at a good old chunky $25,495 for uh, basically what you get out of that $25,000 is a little two-seater car. It doesn't have a back seat, nothing like that. It has a pretty pretty big trunk, so I guess that's what makes up for it. But under the hood, it has a two-liter four-cylinder boxer engine, you know? Um, and these come, the premiums only come in six-speed manuals. So, and um, the starting horsepower of these are 205 horsepower at the crank and 156 foot pounds of torque. Cool part is, well, it's not really cool, but I expected, for me, I expect a little bit more better gas mileage, I just think, but it, it gets 20 on highway and 21 city. It's not, you know, it's not bad, so to speak, but I expected a small car like that to get more out of it. And so, with that, you don't really get much out of this. Like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just skip, like, and I'm gonna jump to the exterior. So exterior wise, you just get like, you have six color choices and then one source of interior. You get cloth interior. All right, you get just decent cloth interior and six colors on the outside. Other than that, it's a pretty basic car. Cool part about these cars though, they're basic, yeah, but most people want it basic. They buy it because it's basic and they can work on it. I've seen so many nice BRZs worked on up to the point where it's like it's it's almost unrecognizable and you think that you know it could have been done by the factory some some are simple and some are just like way out there cool part is these things get direct and port of fuel injection um, it actually comes with the rear limited slip differential on this little 205 horsepower car so like think of it as a Miata it may be small and like not as much horsepower but it's so light it makes up for it and to the fact that it it can corner really well, and it's just a fun car. That's what it is. The BRZ is just a really fun car to drive. You're not going to be going, like in this challenge, you're not going to just go 0 to 100 in a straight line. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to take the corners nice and sharp. You're going to slow down. You're going to take bends and valleys. It's it's just overall really fun to drive. And, oh, cool part is also, also, also comes with brake assist. So, I mean, if, in emergency brake situations, it the car helps you if you're slow at it. If you're too slow at braking, or if you're too, uh, you have shit reaction time. Basically, yeah. I was trying to find a nice way to say it, but yeah, if you have shit reaction time. <laughs> um, another cool thing is this comes at this comes with a four wheel independent suspension. Uh, I noticed this is a theme with like the, the Subaru's performance vehicles. Like they come. Sorry, sorry. Really nice JDM car, but like. It comes with four-wheel uh, independent suspension, and Coupon with that is it gives it a smoother ride because this car is already pretty low to the ground, and uh, with that low and you know that small, it, the car just becomes kind of bumpy on the on the road. It's, it's more stiffer, you know. But when you're just driving around cruising, it's actually really really comfortable having the four-wheel uh, independent suspension. I mean, you an overall smoother ride than you would have with uh, with the original um, suspension. And I was saying this car is light. This car is around 2,700 pounds, uh, which is pretty, pretty. It also comes with a 4.2-inch uh, LCD screen in on one side, 
uh, what do you call it? In the center console, so it comes with navigation, it comes with the standard Bluetooth, it comes with auxiliary, just all the standard stuff within a car. And the cool part is both seats are six way, what is it? Like a six way, would you say interchangeable or interchangeable? Or six way changing? For what? Like when adjusting the seat, six way adjustment. Six point adjustment. Yeah, there you go. I am so sorry. Six point adjustment. Slip of the mind. Other than that, it's just a pretty simple car. If you want more, that's when the limited edition comes in. So limited edition starts at $27,645. So this car is about two and a half grand more. Same engine, two liter four cylinder boxer engine. Save 205 horsepower with 156 foot pounds of torque. And same gas mileage. The only thing it has is just a better version of the premium uh, BRC. So it comes with, actually it comes with Alcantara seats. Really nice Alcantara seats. It comes with, it, it actually has an option. It actually has an optional Brembo package, brake package. Uh, since it has, a, it also has more tech in the car itself. So bigger screen, better, na better navigation, just more stuff inside. On top of that, uh, it comes with keyless access and push to start, while the premium didn't have that. And adding all that, it just it hires the weight just by a little. So the weight becomes 2,793 versus 2,085. So not a big difference, just a little bit of weight. Other than that, the BRZ really doesn't have anything else to it. Even its wheels are literally the same thing, 17 by 7.5, 215 front, 245 in the back. Not much has changed. It's mostly in the interior. It's mostly having a little bit of extra comfort in the in the car itself. So that actually is for BRZ. Now we move on to my favorite, the WRX. So there's five WRX models. They start WRX, then they go to the premium, limited, STI, and then the STI limited. So we'll go ahead and start with the base model. Uh, the base model starts at $26,000. It comes with a two liter turbocharged four cylinder boxer engine. It's the same engine the BRZ has, just the turbocharger on it. This results in 268 horsepower and 250 foot pounds of torque. A little less gas mileage, so you get around 27 highway and 20 city. But uh, the WRX is all wheel drive rather than wheel wheel drive. So it has Subaru symmetrical all wheel drive system. It has a uh, four wheel independent suspension. It even has their uh, vented front brakes. It, actually, it also offers more tech, so things like, since the BRZ had the brake assist, this comes with brake override, it also comes with, <coughs> excuse me, it also comes with um, its brake assist and brake override system, and also comes with their bigger brakes that they put on the WRX. And again, uh, it, it follows the uh, BRZ's tachometer, tachometer system, so all analog with the LCD screens on the side to showcase your mileage, your fuel consumption, your heat, and your oil. Really, that's about it. It's their simple WRX. And then we move on to the premium. The premium starts at 28,995. It's literally the same engine, the two liter turbocharged four cylinder. Start that has 268 horsepower, 258 foot pounds of torque, 27 highway, 20 city. Um, only thing, and it still has the Subaru symmetrical all wheel drive, it still has the independent suspension, it still has the manual front brakes, it has, still has all that. All it adds on is just bigger wheels. So they have the 18 by 8.5 wheels with, which, okay, this is a bit weird. So they have 245s in the front and 240s in the rear. I was confused, so I looked at multiple uh, website and articles and they, they literally said the same thing. They actually have bigger wheels in front than back. I mean, it's not by much, but it's little. I, I was just slightly confused. And again, it still has the analog instrument cluster with the LCD screens on the sides. Then we move on to the WRX Limited. So this one starts at 30,995. Literally still the same engine as the previous two models with the turbocharged four liter boxer engine. I'm sorry, two liter boxer engine. Uh, the only, even the same wheels and tires as the WRX Premium. 
this is where it starts to change. So the Limited actually has more tech, just like the Limited the BRZ does. So it comes with a electroluminescent gauges. So it comes with a 3.5 inch LCD screen, dead in the center, giving you a digital tachometer. Gives you an analog tachometer as well as a digital tachometer, which I thought was pretty cool. It has, and this one finally, they finally come up with the keyless entry option. And also on the exterior, it finally comes with LED uh, taillights and stronger HID uh, headlights. So while in the previous two models, it was slightly basic, this is where they finally stepped it up. So this is where you start getting more bang for your buck rather than these other two. And now this one we want, finally, my favorite actually, the WRX STI. Always has been a favorite, still is a favorite. Overall, just a really, really, really nice car. So this one starts at $35,195. This has a 2.5 liter turbocharged boxer engine. Has 305 horsepower and 294 pounds of torque. Has 23 highway and 17 city mileage. Bigger engine, less mileage. Still not bad, still great gas mileage. On top of that, it comes with a 2.5 liter DOC, a DOHC turbocharged engine. So this one is completely different from the other two engines. This one will pump harder, it'll shift faster for you. Overall, it's just a better engine in my opinion. On top of that, this comes with Subaru Intelligent Drive. So what that is, uh, it's basically what it sounds like. It's electronic driving assist. So it's kind of like power steering, but not at all. It's the computer's doing a little more work, helping you take your corners harder, helping you take your turns sharper. And overall, it it should just help you. But obviously, you still have the option to turn off. But keep in mind, it's there. Cool part is that these things have better independent four-wheel suspension and it finally comes with their Brembo brake package allowing you to brake faster and brake harder than your other WRX models and then we stepped it up with the bigger tires it has 18 by 18 and a half inch wheels with 245 front 230 in the back and this one comes with both LED front and head and tail lights on top of that, it comes with its WRX spoiler, it comes with its diffuser, it comes with the side skirts, and it comes with the front, uh, the nicer front bumper. So this is where it looks nicer, sounds nicer, is faster, and overall is better at handling, suspension, and turning. Then we move on to the WRX well, SDI Limited. Just wait, because we're at our destination, so we'll return in a second. Get caught now. What's up, guys? Uh, we're going back home, and uh, before we before uh, we came to the station, we stopped at the WRX STI Limited. Now, this STI Limited is almost the same thing as the STI. It comes with a 2.5 liter turbocharged engine. It has 305 horsepower, 294 pounds of torque, 23 highway, 17 city mileage. It has the Subaru Intelligent Drive. Has a four wheel independent suspension, it has brake assist, the brake overdrive, it has everything, it all actually, it even has all the exterior stuff, it has the diffuser, the spoiler, the skirts, the cool special hood, the only thing different about it is what's inside, what it offers, it offers uh, basically almost like a, uh, like a tech package, it has the bigger screen, the nice 6.2 inch screen in the middle of the console, it comes with better seats, it has Overall, just better tech inside the car. So if you think about it, it's more of the luxurious edition of the sport edition of Subaru's WRX. And that pretty much concludes all the models of the WRX. So what do you think about it? Uh, run through, quick rundown again. Uh, just pricing and the model. Models, we have the base the WRX, which starts at, I believe, 25000 these cars you're buying them for the the styling of them and a lot of people I've seen who buy them uh, put modifications on it you know make look unique and you know be a part of a, a specific car culture so if that's what you're looking for these cars that's I mean there's nothing that can take away from that there's nothing that's gonna replace that 
aspect of them. Same thing with the Nissans we talked about last month. It's the same thing. It's that culture. It's if you want the Japanese yeah. car, because for the money you're paying for these cars, you could get so many better options comfort-wise with similar performance numbers, right? Maybe not speed-wise, but power-wise and stuff, because the car's going to be heavier, everything like that. It's just a matter of what do you want out of these cars? And for me, the value is not there because the cars I want, the cars I buy, all have a purpose outside of me driving them and having fun with them. Um, so for me, the value is not there, but for a certain group of people, the value is there. And if you just want a small, cheap, quick car, it's the value is there too. And the, the comfort's decent. You know, Japan has good reputations for making decent cars that are reliable and everything, uh, such as that. And you know, since they're light, the the less horsepower isn't that big of isn't that big of a problem anymore. So I personally think that it's pretty. You know, I think it's not a bad buy. I don't think you're gonna do bad with buying the WRX. Um, I think for the money you could do better uh, yeah. with the especially with the BRCs. Yeah, I think, but with the money saved at the same time, you have more money to put you into that car. But I do think these are good cars, and again, J Japan makes good, reliable cars that last as long as you don't fuck them up. With that, we're at our final destination. Uh, anything else to say before we leave off? No. Alright guys, well, thank you very much for watching episode 6 of 100ccs. Uh, if there were some random noises going on, we have the mic in a different position today, so it might have picked up a few different things. Um, we're just testing it out, but thank you for bearing with us. Uh, we'll be back next month, uh, July, with probably more Japanese cars, right? I think yeah. we're going with Toyota? Yeah. All right, we'll go, we'll go to Toyota next month with their uh, Q86, and they've also announced recent things with a new Supra, potentially, and everything like that, so we'll talk about some stuff then. But until then, thank you so much for watching episode 6 of 100 CCs. Uh, and we hope you have a good one. Drive safe, everybody.